Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. For today's episode, I am going to show you how to make a neck facing and how to sew it on the garment. So if you want to learn how, keep on watching! I have a piece of fabric here that I folded in half. Then I am going to put the pattern right on top of the fabric. I am simply going to trace the neckline and the shoulder just like this. Keep in mind that my pattern has an allowance already so I didn't have to add that to the facing. And I'm just going to trace it just like this. And I'm also working with the back bodice so this is going to be for the back neck facing. On the shoulder, I am going to make it about 2 inches wide. On the center back, I am going to make it 4 inches wide because the back will feature a keyhole, so I have to make it longer. And then I'm just going to connect the dots together, just like this, to form a curve. And then I will just cut it out. I also notch the center back of the facing. Then I will just repeat the same process on the front neck facing. Place the pattern on fold, pin it to secure, and then trace the neckline and the shoulder. I am going to make the front neck facing 2 inches wide so it will match with the back neck facing. Connect the dots together and then cut it out. I also notch the center front of the neckline. should look something like this. Now it's time to sew the pieces together. First I am going to sew the shoulders of this dress and then I will do the same thing onto the neck facing. I'm going to match it just like this. Right sides of the fabrics are facing each other and then I'm going to sew the shoulder seams as well. This one is optional. If you want to add a keyhole feature at the back of the dress, you are going to simply cut a slit on the center back of the facing about 3 inches long. You can make it longer but make sure that if you're going to make it longer, you, the facing should be longer as well. I'm going to do the same thing on the back neck bodice. I am going to simply cut 3 inches right at the center of the neck or back neck. Like I said earlier, you can make the keyhole as long or as deep as you want. 
You can also use the same process if you want to put the keyhole on the front or even on the sleeves of the garment. That will look really nice as well. So if you want a tutorial on how to put keyhole on the sleeves, be sure to leave a comment down below so I can make that happen for you guys. I'm just going to sew the seams. I am actually using my serger, but you can just use your sewing machine. After that, I am going to open up the dress just like this and I'm going to match the neck facing onto the neck hole. Pin it all the way around. As you can see, because I made those notches, it's much easier for me to match all the pieces together. And then I am going to sew it all the way around. I started to sew at the back seam where the slit is and I'm just going to sew it all the way around. I am going to be doing about a quarter of an inch wide seam allowance. Once I reach the back of the neckline, I am going to simply lift up the presser foot and then fill with the fabric so I can get a nice straight edge and then lift it up again and fill with the fabric and do the same thing. Now I am going to clip the corners so when I turn the dress right side out, the dress will have a nice pointed corners. The back neck should look something like this. I think it looks so pretty. The only thing that I forgot is add or insert a loop, but I can easily sew a snap button or sew it right outside the fabric. I am going to understitch the facing so it will stay under. Going to stitch as close to the seam as possible and keep in mind that the raw edges should be pointing towards the facing.
I only understitched the front neck of the dress because the back is really difficult because of that keyhole feature. I also stay stitched the neck facing at the back. As you can see, I'm sewing about one half inch around the keyhole. If you want to see the complete tutorial of this dress, I'm going to have the link in the description box below or at the end screen or even in the info card up here. I ended up finishing the neckline by sewing one inch all the way around, as you can see here. So this is the finished product. I absolutely love how it turned out. I think the neckline, it looks super, super pretty. And the keyhole feature at the back is just like, wow. So I will be doing a lot of this and a lot of my sewing projects. You can see it's not finished at the back yet because I don't have the right buttons for it. But once I found the right one, I'm just going to sew it right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!